It's EJ Tutor here. Okay, today we are looking at the Latin cases, so how nouns are used. Uh, so stay tuned for a full explanation of this. So, um, what do we mean by cases? There are six different cases in Latin, and each of them tell you the function of the noun in the sentence. So, let's go over the six different cases that you can have. You have your nominative, your vocative, your accusative, your genitive, your dative, and then your ablative. So when you learn a noun table, you will learn them in this order. If you are based in the UK, I should say. Um, if you are um, based in America or you follow an American grammar book, then you will have the genitive straight after the nominative. Uh, but don't worry about that right now. Uh, learn whichever pattern you have. So, uh, you have nominative, vocative, accusative, genitive, dative, and ablative. So, your initialism is N V A G D A. When I was first learning this, my school teacher taught me that you can remember it by Noddy vomits again, guarding Dumbo's armpits. If you have a better way that you would like to remember them, a different acronym, uh, I do not mind at all, as long as you have a way to remember the order, that is totally fine. So let's look at what they actually are used for. The nominative is your subject. So if it is in the nominative case, it is doing the action of the sentence or the phrase. The vocative is less common, it's pretty much always identical to the nominative except in the second declension. Um, and it is used when you are addressing someone, when you are, they, their name is in speech, the noun is in speech. Next you have your accusative, so this is the opposite of the nominative, it is the object of the sentence. It is having the action done to it. So if I throw the ball, I am the nominative, uh, throw is the verb, and the ball is the object, it is being thrown. Then you have your genitive which is the case that is used to show possession. So the dog's bone, the bone of the dog, the of the dog would be in the genitive. The thing doing the possessing is in the genitive. So you can translate it in English with an apostrophe, the dog's bone. I will put up a video about the usage of apostrophes to show possession in English uh, so that you can check your knowledge of that too, just in case you need a helping hand. Then we get to the dative, which you translate as two or four. So often goes with the verb do, meaning to give. I give a present to you. The to you goes into the dative. And your last case is the ablative, uh, which we translate using the words by, with, or from. So if I kill you with a sword, the with a sword would go into the ablative. The ablative and the accusative and actually sometimes the dative, are used with certain prepositions to mean certain things. Uh, but again, this will be the subject of another video. Not something to worry about while you are just getting your head around what the cases are used for initially. As always, any questions, leave me a comment below or send me a message via the website that's in the description. I look forward to seeing you back here next time.